And if you, like many people, might be headed to the lake or hitting the river this 4th of July weekend, so we'll let you know what you need to do to stay safe while boating. WFXR's Kelsey Jean-Baptiste talked to one local business about the important things that you need to know before you hit that water. She joins us live. Uh, Kelsey, what's the first thing you got to have? Well, Drew, I myself just got off the boat on Clater Lake, and according to the owner of the Mountain Two Islands at Clater Lake, Michael Velosh says it's make sure that everyone, including children, are wearing a personal flotation device. Like many 4th of July weekends, Velosh says the water is going to be busy, so it's important that you are prepared. Always have a throw cushion, a fire extinguisher, uh, some kind of alert, whether it be a whistle or a horn on the boat. Uh, those are real important to have. He adds since there's a lot of people on the water, boaters have to stay aware and vigilant to decrease the chance of any dangerous accidents. Uh, you also want to sort of anticipate things and knowing that there's more people out on the water, maybe storm might pop up. Just be aware of your surroundings, whether there's boats going, you know, lots of boats or uh, whether it be a weather issue. He says the number one boater rule is keep a good enough distance between you and other boaters. You should always stay at least 50 feet away from any dock, and I'll always tell people stay 100 feet away. It just makes it where you're not close up on top of somebody and everybody's got space and all. Velosh continues to say that staying hydrated while on the water is key. Plenty of water because, you know, you could get dehydrated out there to the, and also drink plenty of water and be aware of the sun, you know. And Velosh says that many children are also going to be out on the water, so it's important that they also wear their personal flotation device, no matter how much fun they're having. In Pulaski County, Kelsey John Baptiste, WFXR News.